Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering a few different things. One of my goals is to recap the seven characteristics of life and go into them in more detail. I would also like to introduce the levels of organization that biologists can study from very small to very large. And then I want to practice using a little bit of technology. I would like to use the Notability app, which looks like this. I would like for you to be able to use your Apple writing device, or at least get to practice using it. And if that doesn't work, you could always use your finger to write or also use the um, text boxes to write. But it's good to practice if we can. And then it would be also very nice if we could Zoom with a partner either in class or out of class to um, do the assignment together with somebody. And again, that's just to get practice using Zoom. Now, if any of this does not work, this video is here and available to you so you can actually go through and just follow along with the video and complete the assignment. To do today's lesson, I will need you to use your iPad, a notebook that you can dedicate to biology, and which should have your notes from the last class and a pen or pencil. Please open your notebook to a fresh clean page because I would like to do a little quick review of stuff that we learned in the last class. So I would like you to put on a piece of paper in your biology notebook characteristics of living things or characteristics of life and see how many of the seven characteristics you can recall. I gave you an acronym or two different types of acronyms to help you with memorizing the first letter of each of the characteristics of living things. So that would be a good place to start. If you're not able to do it, that's fine. That's why we're reviewing it today and doing another activity to learn those characteristics of living things in more detail. But it is always good to practice and refresh from the lesson that we did prior before we go forward. While you try to fill this in, I'm going to play a song from Science with Tom titled, Is It Living? While I play this, please fill in the one through seven on your sheet of paper. Remember when the first life was cells in a soup? Now they're everywhere from my brain to the chicken coop. I'm living proof. And what I'm here to prove is that every type of living thing grows and reproduces. From E. coli to Baltimore Rios. All right, so that gave you some time to write down either the first letter for each of the characteristics of living things, or maybe that first letter was able to actually allow you to complete it. I'd like to go over the answers with you now to see how you did. All right, in the last lesson, I gave you two different acronyms that you can use to help you remember the characteristics of living things. One of them was rare dog. The other acronym had to deal with the, the ogre Shrek, which would be Rad Ogre. I'm going to stick with Rare Dog, so I'm going to write that down. All 
I wrote down rare dog. The first letter stands for the rest of the word that can help us remember the characteristic of life. The first R can stand for reproduction. And the order of these do, do not matter. So whether it was rat ogre or rare dog or whatever order you put them in, the characteristics of life, as long as they meet all seven requirements, we would consider that to be a living organism. Number two is adaptations. Three is being able to respond to environment. And we briefly covered the word homeostasis. And in today's lesson, you'll be seeing that word in more detail. Four is energy, whether organisms produce their own energy or make their, or produce their own energy making them producers, or if they consume to get their energy, making them consumers. The D stands for development, which is changing into an adult form. The O stands for organized. And it took me a long time to put together that the word organism actually has the word organized in it. Uh, living things are made up of a single cell or multiple cells. And then the G stands for growth. In today's lesson, we'll be going over these characteristics of life in more detail. Today we will be using the Notability app. So I wanna make sure that you have that app downloaded before we even get started. If you don't have the little pencil icon Notability app, what you would like to do, or what you should do, is go to the self-service section, or find that little app, and then under search, you could type in Notability, and you should be able to find that, find that app. So the steps to using Notability is, first you would go to the Google Classroom and open your assignment that you have to complete, so that would be under Classwork. And notice that this is a PDF assignment. So I would click on that assignment. When the assignment opens up, you're going to be looking for the three horizontal dots in the right corner, which are located right here. When you click on those three horizontal dots, you will then have options. And you wanna locate the Notability app and click on it. Your screen then will say create new note or add to existing note. You want to create a new note, so you will click on that. After you click on that, it will then say one file sent to Notability. So click the word done, and now you're ready to go to the Notability app and use your Apple Pencil or writing pencil to write directly onto the page. If your Apple Pencil or your other um, writing tool is not available, you could always type on it, or you could use your finger to write. So again, remember you're going to go to your Notability app, which is right here on my screen. I guess I should make it bigger, okay? Uh, find that icon, the pencil, and then you will click on it. Now it makes sense to make a folder name for each of your classes because many teachers use this app. But if you don't, like I didn't, um, you could put it, uh, it should be showing on the very top. So here I have that characteristics of life cells that was in the form of a PDF located right on the top. And I'm ready to get started. So you're ready to get started you could click on the pencil and write using the pencil. If you have a, 
a writing tool like the Apple Pencil or the Logitech Pencil, the crayon, you can use that. My Apple Pencil never seemed to work, so I've always just used my finger, which makes it then really hard to read. Um, but I also, if I want to make it look nicer, I use the icon over there, which is that letter T. So let me find that. Which then I can then make little text boxes. But this app is really, really super helpful because we also have things like scissors, so you could cut things and then move them around. So when teachers assign work for you, um, instead of having to print it out, you could actually cut and paste things in different directions. You could add things in. You could talk. Um, today, we're just answering the questions using your pencil or using the... Um, we're going to be just using these two guys over here and not the, the cutting. All right, so then when you are done, you could send it to your Google Drive. And it makes sense to make folders for each of your courses in your Google Drive, um, especially as you go through the years, you're gonna have a lot of different classes. So it makes sense to have a biology folder and an algebra one folder, a Western Civ folder. So that way you put the things in the right spot and then in the future, you'll be able to access that old work that you have submitted or completed. So after you have it on your Google Drive, when you go back to the Google Classroom, you're then ready to share it with your teacher and submit it that way. And if there's any issue, you could always write to your teacher and see if they can help you. But try to do that and see how it goes. To do today's assignment, you can work individually or you can be with a partner and test out how to use Zoom to do work. If you'd like to be paired up with another student, please let me know and I can arrange that. But if you are doing this assignment at a different time than the scheduled class period, you can do this assignment solo. So everyone should open up the characteristics of life assignment and complete the assignment and submit onto the Google Classroom. This assignment will be graded upon completion and not based on accuracy. We will go over the answers to the assignment in the next class period. But today, I would like you to explore the different characteristics of life, try using the Notability app, and you may even want to try to use Zoom to work with a partner. That is a lot to complete in one day, so I do not want to add the extra stress of having to be correct on all of the questions. As long as you attempt to answer each question and put thoughtful, uh, thoughtful responses, I will be content with your answers and give you a full credit grade. Thank you.